Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. In the last episode, I built a really nice custom water-cooled video editing rig. If you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I will put a link in the upper right-hand corner so you can do so. Let me hop into the email. Let's see what we can work on today. Uh, we may only have one fix. It's probably this one. Let's do it. it. says, I hear you work with computers. Can you make some repairs? Whatever's broken, you'll need to have a look at it to work out what's happened. The mouse just freezes and I can't do anything. I think the CPU is broken. I heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. I'm a total AMD fanboy. Regards, Mark Sheehan. Okay, so budget of 1300 bucks to diagnose and fix. What are these stats? Oh, he's got a Ryzen 9 3950X. Those are a bit expensive if that is what's broken. However, we may just go ahead and order one and hope that's what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and accept that one. And then let's do a build. See what this one is. Overwatch. Sure, why not? We haven't built an Overwatch PC in quite some time. It says, hey, I'm actually looking for a new build. Overwatch is my favorite game right now, so it has to run. You've got to get it done in nine days. I like nice and shiny new components. I read that Seagate parts are really good. Many thanks, Allison. So Allison wants to play Overwatch at minimum spec. Got a $3,500 budget. Let's take a look at will it run Overwatch. There it is. Minimum spec. Minimum spec. So 6 gigs of RAM, 6 gigs of VRAM, 5 gigs of storage, an i5-7400, and a GTX 1060 6 gig. What's the recommended? 6 8, 5, 7,700, and a 1070. We can probably beat both of these with the budget that Allison has. So let's close that out. Let's go ahead and accept that one. All right, let me get the shop opened up here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the Ryzen 9 3950X that we're probably going to need for the repair. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the cart. And I'm going to go, go ahead and get the build put together in there as well. As soon as I've got all the parts, I will come back and show you. All right, so we've got the Ryzen 9 3950X that we will probably need for the repair. For this build to play Overwatch at minimum spec, we're going to go with the NZXT N7 Z590 motherboard in white, an i5 11600K, four sticks of Corsair Vengeance LPX 8 gig, 3200 megahertz, a Zotac RTX 3060 amp white edition. That is the 12 gig graphics card. For storage, they wanted Seagate, so we're going to put in a 4 terabyte Seagate Barracuda, but they're not going to be booting from that because we're going to also put in a Patriot Viper VP4300 2 terabyte NVMe drive. To power it all up, we've got the Cooler Master V850 Gold version 2 in white. We're going to put all the in the Corsair IQ 220T RGB with tempered glass in white. I don't think I've ever built in that case, and I'm not sure I've ever used the Zotax graphics card. So yeah, also, you didn't miss me talking about the CPU cooler because I want to do some more custom water cooling. So we're going to custom water cool just the CPU. We're going to go with a Corsair CPU block, a Corsair XD3 Combo Reservoir. That's the little tiny hockey puck looking one. And we're also going to put in a Corsair Hydro X Series XR5 240mm radiator. So... Let's go ahead and get that for next day delivery. Let's go back here to the shop. We'll get that for next day delivery. Let's see. This is on the whiteboard, and this is in transit. Let me go in the day. We can get everything in, and we can get to work. All right. All right. Here's all our stuff. Oh, we got something from the PC Bay. A nice 32 gig stick of Excalibur RAM from Team Group. Nice. All right, let me grab the sticky note for the build. Pink, there we go. There we go. Here's our case. Don't think I've ever built in this case, and I don't think I've ever water cooled in one of these uh, Corsair cases like this. They're actually kind of small, so it's going to be a nice little challenge. And then here is the repair that hopefully needs the 3950X that I purchased. That was $900. Okay, does this thing power on? It does. No CPU found. So yeah, they, they broke their broke their CPU. So good. 
We didn't waste money on a CPU we didn't need. So let's get this broken one out of here. And CPU. Let's do Fitz's PC. So yeah, they've got a broken Ryzen 9 3950X. It's worth 29 bucks though. Let's get uh, 29 bucks. And I'm going to get the new one installed. Lock that sucker down. And I want to put some thermal paste. And then I'll get the CPU cooler back on. That seems like an underwhelming CPU cooler. But I could be wrong. It might do just fine. Let's see if this sucker boots up now. And I do want to hop into their BIOS and check for XMP. Oh, they did need it. They did need it. They were leaving some performance on the table there. That's not ever good. Guys, always make sure that you XMP your RAM to whatever the rated speed was, unless you're like, you know, full on overclocking it. There we go. So that was an easy fix. An expensive one, but easy. This is a humongous case for this little mini ITX board. Wow. That is something. And what is this graphics card? Oh, it's not going to tell me, is it? No, it's not. It's not going to tell me what that graphics card is. I don't know why I was ready to pick that thing up. We got to put the case side back on. Now we're ready to go. Put this thing over here in the delivery area. And I can start working on this nice build, or hopefully nice build, to play Overwatch at minimum spec. But they'll be playing Overwatch at way more than minimum spec with the build that we're making. All right, I think this needs to go. Anything else right now? I don't think so. So let me go ahead. Let me get the motherboard installed. We've got the NZXT N7 Z590 in white. There we go. Look at that. That is almost a perfect match to the white of this case. That's nice. That's nice. So often I build stuff and it just doesn't seem to match. Like white isn't necessarily white. Like it's different, different shades, different colors. But this matches really good with this case. That's good to know. Let me go ahead and get these out of the way. I want to go ahead and get those out of the way. I'm also going to get this ready for CPU, and we've got a NVMe drive going in. So, let's start with the CPU. We've got the i5-11600K. We'll plunk that in. Then, for RAM, we've got four sticks of Corsair Vengeance LPX in white, 8 gig, 3200 megahertz. We'll get all four of those in there. This RAM does not have any... LEDs or RGB or anything. It's just RAM. It's just RAM. And the reason is, is I'm putting the radiator up in the top. And this is a very skinny case. So any taller RAM uh, will just be a problem with the radiator. Speaking of the radiator, let's just go ahead and install it. Let's just go ahead and install it. We've got the Corsair Hydro X Series XR5 240. That's going to go right up here in the top. I can zoom in a little bit, and hopefully you can see what I mean. It is just right up against, right up against that radiator. And then, and then we've got the reservoir. This mounts back here. There we go. And we may as well, while we're putting stuff on, let's get some thermal paste on the CPU. And I'm going to go ahead and put the CPU block on. We've got this in white, the Corsair Hydro X Series XC7 CPU block. And it is a bit different color white. Maybe I should have gone with the black one, but oh well. Oh well. Okay. Now... I want to get the storage installed. We've got this Patriot Viper VP4300, two terabyte NVMe drive. That's going to go right there. And while we're doing storage, let's go ahead and put in their four terabyte Seagate Barracuda. There we go. Heck, while we are over on this side of the case, let's go ahead and put in the power supply. We've got the Cooler Master V850 Gold version two in white. Go ahead and get that installed. 
That almost matches. Almost matches. Oh well, we tried. We tried. Okay, we need the graphics card. For that, we've got the Zotac RTX 3060 Amp Edition in white. See, it's got the 12 gigs of VRAM. Nice chunk of VRAM there. That matches real nice. That matches. Okay, so let's pipe this thing. Now let me do white rigid pipe and white fittings. Now, I cannot tell which one of these is out. So... Oof. Let's just guess and say it's this one. So let's run across like so. And we'll pull this down a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and accept that. Then let's run out of the CPU block and up into the radiator. Oh, that's some crazy corners there. Let's get rid of some of those. Don't need all those bins, I don't think. No. Nope. Let's see. Can we... Can we make this look a little bit cleaner? Yeah. We can. Offset that a bit. I'm actually okay with that. I am okay with that. And then we're going to come out of the radiator and down into the reservoir. And it did some more crazy bends. Oh my gosh. Let's get rid of all of those. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see. Can we do... That and hmm, I mean, that's actually not too bad unless you look at it from this angle, and then it's a little funky. But looking at it straight on, it's actually not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and accept it, I'm okay with it. All right, now we need to cable this up so that we can get some coolant put in there. I do want to use white cables. Let's see. Maybe some sleeved. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it did something weird there with pinching the cable, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Let me cable all this up. There we go. Front panel connector. We'll get the Barracuda drive. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. Then we're going to get some coolant. Sure, we'll just use opaque white. It's just going to make these tubes even wider, which is fine. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for the first boot. But before I do, I want to get a USB drive installed. Power this thing up. I do want to hop in the BIOS because I'm sure I need to turn on XMP. There we go, 3200 megahertz. Make sure I'm booting from the right drive. Since we do have multiple drives in here, I do not want to be booting from the Seagate Barracuda. Okay. Time to let it install the operating system. We will get the lighting app on and probably change some lights. Let's see. Lighting app. Yes. RGB isn't bad. We may just make everything white, though. Since this is just a very white build, I'm not feeling the hot pink <laughs> at the front. Not at all. Oh, that's much better. That much better. Okay, this thing needs the side panel uh, and the dust filter, so let me get that stuff put on. 
And then we'll take a look at it without the UI in the way. This side panel's tinted some, so it's going to help with some of the brightness of the white lights, which is fine by me because they are a little bit on the bright side. Let's take a look. I think this thing turned out really nice. I'd put it on my desk. Yeah. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go put this in the delivery area over here. I want to collect some money. So, we've got the diagnose and fix. Five stars. My PC was busted, but now it's working fine. And all new parts. Top job. Nice. Then was it this one? Yeah, to play Overwatch at minimum spec, which now Allison's going to be able to play Overwatch at whatever she wants. Maxed out, I'm sure, will be very easy for that build. Five stars. They built me a great PC. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Got some more jobs here. Okay. Daily deals. Broken PC with an i7-7700 and a RTX 3090? That's got to be what's broken for $932. I don't think I want to buy that. I got another broken PC with an 8086K and a 2070 Super. And a Patriot Viper VPR 100. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's take a quick look. Oh, that's... Okay, so there's a couple of NVMe drives here. Uh, let's buy that. I don't want either one of these broken PCs. I'm worried I'm going to get screwed on those. So... <laughs> Let's just get the two NVMe drives and call it a day. And we'll call it a day. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, you guys know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, a thumbs down. If you didn't, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And ring the bell if you want to get notified anytime a new video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next episode.